They say that a picture speaks a thousand words, and you know, I wonder what this picture is saying. Uh, basically, it says that right now, women weigh as much as men did uh, in the 1960s, 165 pounds. So we take a look here, this is what a woman in the 1960s on average would look like, 140 pounds. Uh, nowadays, typical woman would be 165 pounds roughly. So looking more like that, uh, you can see a bit, a fair bit chunkier, eh? A fair bit chunkier. Let's try for the guys, average 1960s male, something like this uh, for a typical height man. Nowadays, we're looking at about 190, 200 pounds. It's looking a bit different, isn't it? You know, a bit bigger. Let's try the 200, 200 pounds. Yeah, it's looking a bit chunky monkey. Of course, men and women have different bodies. You compare the woman of today with the 1960s man, they have the same body weight. But because men tend to be taller and they have more muscle, obviously, uh, a guy like Brad Pitt, for example, 160, 165 pounds. Looks very nice. Uh, 160, 165 pound woman like Amy Schumer, even being 5 foot 11, not really. But it's not just about aesthetics, is it? It's also about health. It's also about the environment. Uh, it is true we're eating less healthy foods. We've stopped eating as much fruits and vegetables, natural healthy plant foods. Replace that with junky shit like Twinkies. And uh, all the meat we're eating is not good for the environment because it takes up so much more resources. Now, a bit of observation here is that women's weight has gone up over time, which means their attractiveness has gone down. Sexual marketplace value has gone down. Yet their expectations or their standards has not gone down. If anything, it's gone up. And uh, this is a bit of an anomaly. But I think that things like uh, the welfare state or, or body positivity... Or social media even social media could be some contributing factors here so there you go man in summary we're a bunch of fat fucks and uh, it's really just a symptom isn't it of our excessive society the excessive nature of people these days and I recommend to you if you don't want to be a fatty that you should base your diet on whole plant foods which are very healthy for you and help you maintain a healthy weight